Hi everyone, Leo is here with another Jumps to Lightning episode, and I have today Arnov with me to talk to me all about the new integration between Azure Arc and AutoManage. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Leo is here with another Jumps to Lightning episode, and I have my friend with me, Arnov. Arnov, how are you doing? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, you and I. Obviously, we work a lot together, and I know that there are some new things that are coming with Azure Arc Enabled Servers and Auto Manage. And today, we are here to talk about the new onboarding experience. But before we do that, Arnov, as always, who you are, what is it that you do? Yep. Hey, folks. I'm Arnov, and thanks again for tuning in. I'm product manager working on Azure Arc Enabled Servers, um, and specifically here today, excited to share with you our new integration with Azure Auto Manage Machine Best Practices. So Arnold, you've been in the weeds and in the trenches of Azure Arc enabled servers for a while now. Um, talk to me about why, what's the motivation on uh, having a bit more of an ease experience when you come to Azure Arc and AutoManage? Yeah, that's a great point. So one piece of feedback we've gotten from customers and you know, speaking with our users is sometimes it's difficult to figure out what Azure services to use mm -hmm. with Arc enabled servers. You know, we support a lot across Defender, across uh, Machine Insights, across Log Analytics, Automation. And with Azure Auto Manage, it makes it easy to discover and onboard to those services. So yeah. um, really the focus here is making it easier to onboard to those Azure services at scale for your Arc enabled servers. You know, uh, Arno, before, uh, before we dive in here into the demo and the experience, which I know that you have for me, uh, I remember a few conversations that I had uh, in the past, and I remember also the conversation or the session that you and I did at Ignite uh, last year. And I had a few people coming from the audience reaching out. They were talking to me about a bit about auto manage and machine config. Obviously, that was, uh, I think, back in November. Uh, and for sure, things have you know, progressed since then. But the one thing that always resonates with people when I talk to them about auto manage, and I want to get your perspective on this, is when I'm telling them that this is really, you know, Azure Arc enabled servers um, was really just the first step if you think about it. Sure, it's been out there for a while, but it's really just the first step when it comes to the story that we want to tell around governance and security and compliance at scale. And AutoManage was really the vessel to take it to the next level. And I want to hear a perspective on how, you know, how you think about it. And also, what do you hear from, you know, from Microsoft customers that are looking at AutoManage seriously? Yeah, that's a great point. And you know, the way I kind of think about it is I think Arc enabled servers is sort of like your ticket into the buffet. And then mm -hmm. you have all the wonderful Azure services you can you can get. A beautiful analogy. And, yeah. yeah, I know. It's a it's a good analogy. It's a IT pro buffet. You can stack up on on monitoring and security and everything. Um, but sometimes it's tough to navigate that buffet, right? When you have all of these different services. And so I think that's really where the value of auto manage comes in, where You've now Arc enabled your server. You can use any one of a lot of different Azure services, but which ones do I use and how do I configure those Azure services, right? Yeah. That can be kind of tough to figure out. And that's exactly where Auto Manage helps reduce some of that burden for maintaining your Azure services so yeah. you can start leveraging that um, more easily. And so that's sort of the key tie in between Auto Manage and Arc. And, and that's what really excites me as well. And especially if you are thinking about Las Vegas buffets, that's you know very nice analogy. All right, Arnav. So as always, these type of episodes are kind of like what we like to call nuts and bolts episodes when we're diving deep into yeah. into uh, uh, the technical aspect of it. So you know, show me the money. Um, tell me how how this thing works. Yep, absolutely. So we're logged in right here in Azure portal. You can see Azure Arc and Azure Auto Manage just uh, top of mind for folks. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to give a quick refresher, um, I'm going to dive here into Azure Auto Manage. Mm -hmm. And in Azure Auto Manage, you're able to see your servers that have machine best practices applied. And you're also able to create configuration profiles. Um, in this specific case, we're going to be working with an uh, environment called Arc Enabled uh, Services in particular. And within that Arc Enabled uh, Services demo environment, I've actually set up a little bit of a profile for us already. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and filter right there. Voila. And um, you know it's called nuts and bolts, and we're going to continue with the buffet and uh, nut theme. So I've and, created and the a pecan profile theme, for you. Yeah. 
Definitely. Just for just for Lior. And um, here you'll see that we've actually enabled a handful of services. So you can create these custom configuration profiles that are going to select, mm -hmm. you know, which services you're interested in. So here I've selected one that has machine insights monitoring, right, for performance analytics, some machine configuration, yep. update management for patching. Um, and then we've enabled the log analytics workspace and automation account that's going to facilitate that. So mm -hmm. I've selected that subset of Azure services and created this configuration profile around it, right? So now I have this configuration profile that I've set up mm -hmm. and, you know, I've deployed this to some Azure virtual machines already, but I also want to deploy this to my Arc enabled servers, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and, and go into Azure Arc and specifically, I'm going to go into our servers view, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to want to add some Arc enabled servers, right? So uh, I've got a on-prem server today. Um, it's also not theme, but we'll, we'll keep it a mystery. And I'm going to onboard that with our auto manage profile directly at the time of onboarding. And what that's going to do is it's going to reduce that lag time, right? Between getting Azure services deployed and onboarding, again, this off Azure server to yeah. Arc. Yeah. I, you know, the thing that I like about this notion of, of auto manage, because like I mentioned, you know, Azure Arc enabled servers, and I said that, and I say that in a very positive way. You know, when you don't care about the infrastructure, when the infrastructure is boring, um, it means that you did a good job. So Arc enabled servers to me, it's already kind of streamlined and mainstream into you know into a lot of a lot of these IT ops processes uh, that we're seeing. But the thing that I like about AutoManage and, and and you showed this before is this notion of taking all the pillars that IT operations organizations care about, right? You have the monitor and you have the security, you have the compliance, you have all those things that are just kind of mashed together into a bundle of policies. And you know the custom policies are definitely a great feature. So that's really what I like about auto manage. And I just think it's such a natural, uh, you know, such a natural relationship between those two elements of Arc enabled servers and, and auto manage. I just wanted to make that comment, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. They go together like uh, keeping along with the nut theme like PB and J. <laughs> anyway. uh, enough nut jokes. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually onboard our server to Arc. And so here, I'm going to go ahead and, and land that Arc enabled server. You were just looking um, in that Arc enabled services environment, created nuts and bolts resource group for today. Mm -hmm. We're going to be onboarding an on prem Windows server that I've connected to. And we're just going to go over public connectivity. Again, you can use proxy or private link um, as well. And so here's where the auto manage tie in comes in, right? You'll notice right here, directly from Azure Portal, we have yeah. this option where we can enable auto manage. And so what's going to happen here is you get choices where when we create that onboarding script, we're going to enable the auto manage machine best practices profile on mm -hmm. our Arc enabled server. And we can pick between, you know, production, dev test, and, you know, that's going to have different subsets of Azure services or a custom profile in this case. And so here I'm specifically going to pick that custom profile, the, the PCAN profile that mm -hmm. we had just made. Yeah. Right? And and Arnov, talk to me for a second about the production and the dev test. Like, where where is this coming from in terms of how we think about this? Yeah, that's a great point. So you know, the dev test production and cu custom profile. This is coming from speaking with speaking with customers, right? Mm -hmm. um, production specifically includes virtual machine insights, and then dev test does not include that. And so mm. these actually kind of slice and dice different services that are available for auto manage machine best practices. So the idea is um, production sort of follows along with the cloud um, architecture, like well-architected framework. It has mm -hmm. a specific Azure services corresponding to that for what we recommend for production workloads versus dev test has another subset. And then custom profile offers you really the flexibility where you can pick and choose exactly what you want. Um, and the reason I used custom profile here is just to showcase, you know, what's yeah. going on under the hood. But if you're not that interested and you sort of want to go along with the recommendation, production or dev test is a is an easier way to go along. Very cool. Awesome. So I've picked custom profile, picked PCAN profile here. I'm going to go ahead. And uh, in this case, I'm going to skip the tagging. Um, and I'll go ahead to our download and run script. So I'm going to go to the last one. 
download and run script. So here we have uh, the granting of permission for Azure Auto Manage. And here we have uh, the actual script that we're going to be running to mm -hmm. onboard uh, our Arc Enabled server. Now, just inspecting the script here, the magic is really happening within our, our connect command, right? So you might have noticed this with a connected machine agent even before uh, we just made this portal integration available, yeah. uh, that you have this parameter. I spot here, a right? new flag. I spot a new flag. Yeah. yeah. Good eye. <laughs> so um, it's yeah. our auto-manage profile. And you'll notice here that we have specifically that configuration profile, that PCAN profile that we specified. And um, that's what we're going to be onboarding this Arc Enable server to and connecting with that uh, configuration profile at the time of onboarding. Yeah, it's interesting to see how that script uh, evolved throughout the years, um, you know, and how we're using it. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of there's a lot of goodies actually if you uh, pay attention. Where we improve, we're constantly improving. You know, like a lot of our tri logic, uh, yeah. our exception handling, logging, etc. Um, goes yeah. unnoticed by a lot of folks, but we we pay attention. And you know. You know, you just touched on something that is very important because when we're talking about auto manage, we're really talking about this game of scale. Because you don't do you don't do auto manage integration just for one Arc enabled servers or five or even ten. You do Arc enabled servers with auto manage when you have a you know a big fleet of servers that you're onboarding. And the thing with that script, like just kind of the relationship here, the thing with that script is the fact that. You know, you need to have a solid and reliable script like this, like the onboarding script, in order to actually support that at scale motion. That's very important. I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, that not a lot of people are paying attention to. Yeah, definitely. And and you know, typically you you might test out Arc Server right with a handful of servers first during a POC or something. But when yeah. you're really managing, you know, hundreds of servers, you're going to be deploying this uh, scripted scale using your automation tooling of choice. And you might even be using our service principle, right? Yep. For those at scale onboarding or group policy. Um, right. So now we are at the machine, right? That you want to arc enable, correct? Yep. Yep. So we're at the machine and we've got our onboarding script that we just copied from Azure portal. And mm -hmm. right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this. So we're going to go ahead and I think. Uh, and I see that you, uh, you know, continue with the team. You have the pistachio. Admin? Yeah, it's a pistachio yeah. admin. We have to stay on uh, stay on cue with our uh, nuts and bolts. So I'm really focusing on the nuts part. Maybe in a future episode, everything will be bolts themed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So our script is running right there. Installing agent package. Yeah. Just going to take. And a you know, inter another interesting anecdote. While this script is running, another interesting anecdote to just kind of with regards to the script. I remember in the early days of Azure Arc Enable Server that that script, you know, it took it took a bit of time, you know. But now, yeah. you know, things are definitely much faster. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and um, also just do the device login right here. So yeah. So now you're looking at the progress, mm -hmm. and voila! So it's all all done, Easy and now I it. have this. Um, the server that's been onboarded. So mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and, you know, we've successfully connected our machine to, to Azure Arc. And yep. so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste um, that into my other tab. And here I'm just opening up that Arc Enable server. And so here you're seeing Pistachio server, mm -hmm. our newly onboarded Arc Enable server. Very cool. Very and cool. what's going to be so neat is, as we attach that auto manage uh, best practices profile that's going to onboard it to all of those neat services, whether it's updates, um, whether it was the change tracking inventory or the logging, it's going to onboard to all of those. So that's going to really help us start leveraging those those Azure services more quickly. And so uh, that's sort of the tie-in. It was, it was that easy to onboard to Arc Enable servers. And now that I've connected it with the configuration profile that has the best practices, rest assured, I'm going to get the Azure services that mm -hmm. I'm interested in here. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, for the demo, Arnov. And, and, you know, coming back to the buffet analogy, uh, jokes aside, it's almost like, uh, you know, in the onboarding process, if you go to a restaurant and you don't know what you're going to order and just sit and you pick from the menu, this is like, uh, 
um, I want to say it's like Ubering. It's like go see the menu, order what you want, and it comes to you. You know, just kind of coming back to that analogy. And I think that, and I think that the fact that this is so fast and just no friction whatsoever. Um, that and and I mentioned this when things are boring. That's where you know when you know when you did a good job. So thank you so much for uh, for that. Um, Arlo, before we're wrapping up, I wanted to ask you like what what the future holds for you know for auto manage and and Azure Arc enabled servers. What are the things that you know we're thinking about, and obviously the things that you can share. Yeah, definitely. So I think one thing you'll notice is Arc enabled servers um, supports a subset of the Azure services uh, mm -hmm. offered by Azure Auto Manage. And so you'll notice that, you know, Arc enabled servers were always looking to close that gap. And so there's a lot of Azure services on our roadmap that we're looking to bring uh, in mm -hmm. terms of capability set to Arc server. Um, and then another thing you'll notice from uh, Auto Manage uh, machine configuration and um, Auto Manage machine best practices perspective is, is really tied to AMA and helping mm -hmm. support customers with that uh, monitoring agentry um, service attach migration as well. So there's a lot of exciting updates here and uh, you'll always find uh, what's new with our agent and our, not just our agent release notes, but all of our blogging and, and documentation. So a yeah. lot of exciting continued investment. Here For today. sure. And we're definitely going to link a lot of those links in the description button below so you can check it out. I know that, you know, you wrote a blog post recently and there's also the release notes that people uh, for sure need to follow in order to make sure that they're up to date. Um, so Arnold, thank you so much uh, for joining me and for the Jumpstart audience, make sure to like, subscribe because, subscribe because why not? Um, and we're going to see you in the next time. Thank you so much, Arnov, and catch you later.